"'Twas the night before Vlogmas, when all through the house, not a puppy was stirring, not even a mouse. Cameras were charged by the outlets with care, burnout looming above us. Help me, I'm scared. The puppies were resting, cookies baking in the oven. The calendar was stuffed with plans by the dozen. As the night winds down, we snuggle up in bed. As the worries of Vlogmas begin to haunt Remy's head. All right, Rem. It's your 10th year of Vlogmas. You ready? I don't know. I just keep feeling like something's gonna go wrong. You'll be fine. Okay. Good night. Good night. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 7! I am so excited because 7 is my favorite number. Also, uh, that means exactly two months from today, I'm turning 29 years old. You gotta believe it. I know I don't act like I'm 28, but I am uh, turning 29, which is really wild. And that also means two more months until I have to go get my brain MRI again. Yay! I can't believe it's already been four months since uh, that box fell on my head. In case you didn't know, this year, four months ago, a big box fell on my head in the garage. It was filled with paint cans. And then I had to go get a CAT scan and then I had to go get an MRI. And then with that MRI, my brain was okay from the fall, but I found out that I have a brain cyst and they told me to wait six months and then go get another MRI. So I've got a couple more months before then. And it is just going by so fast. Anyways, what a fabulous start to this vlog. Good morning, guys. I just want to say thank you so much because yesterday you guys were so, so sweet. I posted my vlog about how I just did not have the best day yesterday. And and so many of you are leaving such nice comments and I didn't obviously post it for that reason, but I just have to say I appreciate them so much. Good morning, today is going to be a very nerve wracking day. Before we get into that though, I do wanna let you guys know, you have one more day to purchase my merch if you guys haven't already. We have two colorways, the black with the baby blue that says happy to be here. Here is the back of it, it's a custom sweatshirt, it's really nice, big baggy, comfortable. It's not like a super thick fleece material. It's more of like a thinner cotton. So you can really wear this like pretty much all throughout the year. We also have the nude with the baby pink, shopremycruise.com. Sorry, I just had to plug that one more time because on Saturday at noon, it's gonna be away forever. So if you guys want it, feel free to grab her. But yes, as I said, today's gonna be a very nerve wracking day because I am giving a speech tonight. YouTube is throwing their very first AAPI gala, which is so exciting and means so much to myself and I'm sure all other Asian and Pacific Islander creators because representation is obviously so, so important and it's so nice to be recognized. So that's really exciting. I can't wait for that. And on top of that, I guess YouTube did a survey amongst a bunch of AAPI creators and asked who are people that inspire are you to start your own channels or who are people that you love to watch right now? Or I don't know exactly know what question, but something along those lines, like who inspired you to start YouTube? And they said my name kept coming up, which is so sweet and cool. And so they asked if I would give a speech tonight and I'm giving a speech with Blogilates, Wong Fu and Freddie Wong, which if you guys know any of them, you know, they are like the icons of when I was growing up. And it's really cool to be able to give a speech, you know, in conjunction with them. But also I'm so nervous because I hate public speaking. I get really, really nervous. The only time I've like talked in front of an award show was when I presented an award at the Shorty Awards in like 2018 and I messed up in front of everybody. And like that's really the extent of like award shows. I've obviously done like pretty basic live shows and I've done the Drew Barrymore show now, which was really, really nerve wracking. So I feel a little bit more prepped, but still not great. I also don't know what I'm going to wear. So today is going to be a nerve wracking day. My speech is also long. It's three to five minutes, but Cal helped me write it yesterday. And then also so in case you guys didn't know, Cal's mom is an English teacher. So I had her as well as both of my managers go through and change whatever they thought needed to be changed. Here's my speech. It's long, you guys. Oh my God, I have to talk for so long in front of so many people. And not just like people, people that I respect and admire and have looked up to for like my entire career. So I'm nervous and I would appreciate if you guys cross your fingers for me. Here's my favorite little, my bit. Growing up in a Korean household, my parents wove a lot of Korean culture into my life starting at an early age. I attended a Korean church. Church. My mom was always making Korean food and I was even in a Korean Christian performing group called God's Image If you guys didn't know that I was in literally a performing group like a real 
it was like a girl group. It was crazy. As an adult looking back now, I can see how my parents were able to find the perfect blend of honoring our Korean culture and incorporating American traditions into my daily life. But as a kid, I couldn't recognize the beauty in my culture and I just wanted to blend in with all the other kids at school. I was embarrassed to bring dishes like kimbap and bulgogi to lunch and I can't believe it now, but I would have rather eaten the plastic cheese pizza school lunch to fit in, which is true. Obviously things have changed since then, which is so incredible. And I've changed since then, which is also incredible. And yes, sorry, I've been chatting a lot. I'm just so chatty and excited this morning. I slept in a little bit because I wanted to make sure I wasn't tired while giving the speech because then I'm just gonna like slur and not enunciate and then mess up and it's just I have a lot of anxiety about tonight but to help soothe my anxiety I'm heading over to the gym gonna get a workout in I've been so so busy the past week I haven't been able to work out as much as I would like to so super excited to get over there I'm wearing a really cute outfit I'll show you guys in a second and then after that we're gonna run to the grocery store then I have Alexis and Haley coming over to help me with my glam at two so I've got quite a few hours until then I've got some cleaning to do and I've got to decide what dress I'm gonna wear tonight. But let's uh, head over to the kitchen and get ready to go to the gym. Change of plans. I'm so nervous for this speech. I decided to just walk on the treadmill here while I practice the speech about a billion times. So that's gonna be the little workout for the day. I'm gonna do this for like an hour and then we'll head to the grocery store. I just would've looked crazy if I was at the gym walking on the treadmill doing my speech, you know, you guys understand. Hi, I'm practicing my vlog. Or not my vlog. I'm so nervous. I'm practicing my speech on Wit. Hi, Wit. Yeah. <laughs> Luna has always just gotta chill here while I'm on the treadmill. It's so cute. The way this dog must always sit on something soft, never anything hard. I've taught you well. <laughs> Before we go, I have to show you my workout outfit. So this is so cute. This whole set is from Vitality. Let me back up a little more so you can see. Here's the whole set all together. It's this really cute little tank top. It's like a like a very classic like workout tank top. It has this dark purple seam down the front. I've got like this little lilac bolero on top. And then the pants are really soft. They're like seamless purple flare leggings. So cute. So that's my outfit for the day. All right, let's make some breakfast and then we will head to the grocery store. All right, let's make some brunch before we go to the grocery store. As we all know, it is not good to go to the grocery store on an empty stomach because you will buy so many things that you actually don't need. We honestly just have like really random stuff in the fridge right now. So I've decided to throw together breakfast tacos. I have here some siete almond flour tortillas. We have some eggs as well as some turkey bacon. I'm gonna saute up some onion and then add some cheese for cow. And then uh, let me get that going and then I'll show you everything else. Let's start with the onion. I wish I had more veggies. I don't really have many veggies right now. So, and everything in the garden doesn't really go on a breakfast taco. I am growing radishes though, and those should be ready soon. And you know what? You could eat those with a taco. I do love a radish. All right, let me just chop these up really nice and thin. Perfect. All right, then I'm gonna chop up some of these turkey bacon slices and then I'll throw them in with the onions and get really nice and crispy. While that cooks up, now I'm going to do a little spoonful of coconut cult yogurt. So this is basically full of probiotics and it's really good to have a spoonful on an empty stomach in the morning. It helps with gut health and it also really tastes good. This is a new flavor that I haven't tried yet. It is jelly donut. It's a daily probiotic coconut yogurt. There's 50 billion CF you per serving. So I'm gonna do a bite of this. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna do a big spoon of this, like that. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, it's so good. It's sweet, it's sour. Ooh. Really sour. That was so good. Now I'm gonna make my coffee with the up north coffee beans from yesterday and the Transcendence Coffee Algerian Baklava Syrup. So one second, let me throw the turkey bacon in here. Let that get crispy and make a coffee. All right, we've got our cup of ice. Oh, before we drink our coffee, let's all drink our water together. Remember, we hydrate before we dehydrate. Okay, ice in a cup. I got my almond milk here, pouring that in. And then I realized yesterday, I did not put nearly enough syrup in my coffee. I read the bottle after and it says two to three tablespoons. So I only put like maybe a teaspoon or two. All right, let's do syrup first. Oh, it smells so good. All right, I'm gonna put like that much in, maybe a little more. I don't like my coffee too sweet, so that's why I'm being kind of light-handed, but I definitely want more of that flavor. And then we pour the espresso on top, perfect fit. It looks so beautiful. Okay, now we mix. Mmm, that's so good. Okay, actually I'm gonna do a little more syrup. There we go. Wow, it really does taste like an expensive coffee shop. It's crazy. Mmm, 
Mm, perfect amount. Okay, let me finish the tacos. All right, we have the bacon, the onions, and the scrambled eggs that honestly look a little bit overcooked, but that's okay. And now I am melting cheese onto these tortillas for Cal. I put the tortilla on, a little cheese on, and I cover with a lid and let the residual <coughs> heat melt the cheese. Okay, time to assemble. We have my plain tortilla, cows with the cheese and the eggs. Here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of everything on them. There we go, nothing too special. Also, I wanna put avocado on, but they are not ripe yet. But I do have some salsa here from dinner the other night. Mmm, so I'm gonna put some salsa on top. If you want a little creaminess, you can also do sour cream, Greek yogurt, blended cottage cheese if you're feeling crazy. You can put cilantro if you like cilantro, as we all know. I am not a cilantro girl, and while my taste buds have changed quite a bit, cilantro is the one thing that I, I still don't love. But here goes nothing. Delicious. Perfect timing. Breakfast is ready. Mmm. Ooh, tacos. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Well, this is so good. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> okay, just got to Trader Joe's. I want to be in and out in like 20 minutes, so let's go fast because the day is just going by too quickly today. Stocked up on lots of fruits and veggies. You guys know I love sprinkles. I didn't see. These are new Christmas sprinkles. Too cute. Artichoke bread pudding sounds delicious and crazy at the same time. People always go crazy for this jingle jangle. I've never been like a super big fan, but it does look... I mean, it sounds good. In and out in 19 minutes, guys. All right, let's head back home and I'll do a haul. Okay, guys, we're back from Trader Joe's. Let me do a haul. Here we go. Okay, bag number one. We got some sourdough bread, sandwiches, toasts, whatever. Also, this is an absolutely zero order. I was just throwing things into the bag. I got some ground turkey for turkey burgers and then some chicken breast tenders. Let me throw these into the fridge. I can hear Cal listening to Carly Rae Jepsen upstairs. I think it must be artichoke season because they had a lot of artichoke themed things and they had fresh artichokes, which I love artichokes so much. I love to just steam them and then dip them in butter. And I actually don't really like the heart, but I love the leaves and I've liked them since I was a kid. So I uh, will definitely be steaming those up. They're just like a fun little snack or a side dish. I also got shishito peppers. I thought these were out of season, but they had them. So I'm super excited about that. I love to roast these up and then I put on my miso hot honey butter on top. And then you guys know I don't like carrots, but I recently did a recipe on cooking with Remy where I made the miso hot honey butter. And I was basically saying you could just put this on any vegetable and it tastes good. And I did carrots as an option because I know obviously I don't like carrots, but a lot of people like carrots. And I have to say, I roasted these specific ones. These are the Le Petite Carrots of Many Colors from Trader Joe's. And it was so good. I roasted them, I think at like 400 for like 25 minutes and they got really soft, sweet, amazing. And I'm gonna make them again because they were that good. I've also been on a mad bruschetta kick or bruschetta, however you say it. And if you've never tried this at Trader Joe's, it's amazing. It's basically just like a bruschetta sauce and it has Roma tomatoes, basil, oil, and garlic inside. I've been buying this since college and you can put this on top of like grilled chicken, salad, if you wanna put it on bread. It's really easy and really yummy. Next up, I got, as I told you, lots of uh, produce. We got bananas, we got little sweet peppers. I thought these would be great for, I love to make tuna salad and stuff them with tuna salad or chicken salad or also saute these up in the morning like with the breakfast taco would have been really good. So love those. Got some zucchini because I've been needing zucchini and so many of my recipes that I've been making lately and I never had it. So zucchini. I also got broccolini just to roast up and have as a side dish. Eggplant, I'm gonna roast up and then put the miso hot honey butter on top of that. I got a couple pomegranates just because I love pomegranates. I also like pomegranates with my guacamole. I think it's really good. And then I got a bunch of onions. Every time I go to the grocery store, I buy like three yellow onions and three red onions because I use onions pretty much every single day. Okay, last bag, I got a Caesar salad 
salad kit, as well as this is my favorite salad kit. It's the broccoli and kale slaw, and it comes with like a sunflower seeds, dried cherries, dried blueberries, slivered almonds, and a sweet and creamy dressing. It's so good. They sell a giant pack at Costco if you're gonna eat it a lot or you have like a big family. This one is great though for two people. I usually would put like shrimp or chicken on top, make it really fast. It's so good and nice and crunchy and sweet. Then, oh my God, I had to get one holiday thing. This is the Astounding Multi-Flavor Mini Pretzels covered in various chocolates and sweet coatings with drizzles, sprinkles, bits, and pieces. So there's four kinds of pretzels in here and Cal's favorite snack is chocolate covered pretzels. And when I'm filling a chocolate pretzel, I will have a few and these look so good. So this is a peanut butter candy covered and topped with JoJo's cookie bits or like Oreos and M&Ms. This one is coffee candy covered topped with dark chocolate, milk chocolate covered with rainbow sprinkles. Uh, that one's gonna be my favorite. And then dark chocolate covered with peppermint. So I thought this looked so good. And then at Christmas when everybody's here, if, if they last that long, I feel like Cal will probably eat them before then. We could put them out as like a little snack. I got oven roasted chicken breast and oven roasted turkey breast. I have to say, I thought this meat always looked like really, doesn't this look like fake meat? I always thought that the ones that look like real slices of meat would be better and less processed. Obviously they're all processed, but this one only has in the ingredients, organic chicken breast, water, organic potato starch, and sea salt. If you look at the ingredients list for the ones that look more natural, there's like so many things in there and I had no idea. So I've started buying this one, even though it looks like fake meat, it's just got less stuff in it than the other ones, which truly just blew my mind. Okay, next up I got Brussels sprouts. Again, I'll roast and probably put that butter on top or just eat with like a brown sugar situation. Those are really good. I love radishes. I told you guys I'm growing them in the garden, but they're not quite ready yet because I grew them from seeds. So they take quite a while. But for now, I love roasting radishes in the air fryer. They're really yummy and a more low carb option for like a little side dish. It kind of tastes like a potato, but obviously different. This was new to me. I've never seen this before. Argentinian red shrimp with ginger, garlic, butter, and tokarashi style seasoning. It all comes in this pack. It's like a little frozen guy and I can just, you know, throw this into a pan, cook it all up, and it's basically like a shrimp with a really yummy butter. I thought this sounded really good and I love their Argentinian red shrimp. Those are the ones that people say taste like lobster. I don't think it tastes like lobster, but I think they're good. And then, last couple things, I saw these gluten-free Madelines. As I told you guys a couple vlogs back, I love Madelines and I've never tried these. You know what, I'm gonna try one right now. Why not? They look a little burnt, I will say. Mmm, oh, it smells good. Here goes nothing. Mmm, they're made with rice flour. Obviously consistency is a little bit different, but it's good, very spongy. And last but not least, the girl that checked me out at Trader Joe's was like, wow, good thing you got a few of them because they had quite a few in the store. I'm sure you guys have seen Kimpa from Trader Joe's has gone absolutely viral. I think it's funny because it was selling out and people were like freaking out like, oh, no, we want more. But if you go to any Asian grocery store, they have it fresh there for you. You could buy it at the store, but I feel like people don't know that, but I wanted to try the Trader Joe's version. I actually heard these were made in Korea. Is that true? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so these are the kimbap, which if you guys don't know, is kind of like a Korean sushi. It's described as a Korean tofu and vegetable seaweed rice roll, and you just heat it up in the microwave. I got a few, cause I mean, I know I'm gonna like it because I love kimbap. My favorite is definitely fish cake, but I mean, I do love tofu, so I got these to try. If you guys want to taste test, let me know. And that was the Trader Joe's haul. I'm now going to go jump in the shower. Cal will put all these groceries away and I have to get ready to get glammed in a little bit. I need to go practice my speech a couple more times. I'm getting nervous, bye. Hello everybody. Okay, I am showered, I'm clean, I'm shaven, I've scrubbed, shampoo, conditionered, shampooed and conditionered. Washed my hair and now we need to decide on what dress I'm gonna wear tonight. I have two options and I would just like to say I have a bone to pick with Revolve. So the attire tonight is formal and I first saw this dress on Revolve and I was like, that could be cute but I'm not sure. I bought it though as an option and I was like, okay, I'll just return it if I don't like it. And it didn't say on the site that it was final sale until I checked my receipt after. So this is my dress option. I mean, yes, it's pretty, but I just wish I had known if it was final sale, I wouldn't have bought it, you know? But this is option number one. It's a really pretty like hot pink fuchsia sequin moment. And then it's got a little, it's got a slit in the back. So we're gonna try this one on. And then the other option is this one, which honestly, I like this one more, but again, the other one's final sale. So here she is. It's like this really pretty navy blue, one shoulder long sleeve situation. Like this one's classy, that one's fun. And I'm not quite sure, I guess I'll try them both on and see. This one I'm thinking though, I'll wear an updo and then with the sparkle one, I'll probably wear my hair down. So let me try these on and let's see uh, what glam we want to do. Okay, blue dress option. I do like this. I was gonna do an updo, but now I'm thinking maybe a sleek straight hair moment could be the vibe 
or I was thinking an updo with like, you know, little little pieces in the front. I do like this and I do feel very comfortable. I don't think I'm gonna wear any shapewear underneath tonight because I am already anxious enough and I feel like that's just gonna make me feel trapped in this. But option one with maybe like a nude heel. Oh, and my toenails do match perfectly. Okay, option two. I will say I feel like this is a cute Barbie outfit. I do like the dress. I think it's really cute. I will say as someone who has zero hips and is built like a refrigerator, uh, it's not really doing too much. And again, I'm not gonna wear shapewear because I'm too nervous. I don't know though. I think I'm leaning towards the blue. I feel like the blue is a little bit more classy or actually it's definitely a lot more classy for the occasion. But I will say I like this dress. I think that it's cute. And either way, I have to keep it because it's final sale. But I do think what I can do with this dress is wear it for an event like long ways. And then after I can get it shortened and wear it for you know another event or like a bachelorette party or something fun. We're gonna make the best of the situation. I'll wear the blue tonight and then I'll wear this eventually. Ugh, I wish you guys could comment right now. I think I'm gonna do an updo tonight and I think I'll do gold jewelry question mark, right? Or should I do silver? I do think gold goes better with the dress, but I'm just such a silver girl. I'll decide the jewelry later, but I'm gonna put the dress on before I get glam so I don't mess my hair up putting it back on. And yes, I have to say, this is very comfortable. All right, I'll see you guys when it's time to get glam. I'm gonna go practice my speech some more. Hi guys, coming on to let you know that Vlogmas is canceled. I was in such a good mood. And then Cal came upstairs and was like, he looked shooketh. He was like, Rem, have you seen your car? And I was like, huh? I thought he was pranking me. I was like, yeah, I was just in my car. He was like, did you see your, your window? I was like, no. Um, do we see this? Someone tried to break into this car with a crowbar. What? Vlogmas is canceled. Remember yesterday when I said that today was going to be a better day? No, no. Today is far worse. Uh, and now I still have to give a speech. <sighs> Hopefully tomorrow will uh, fix that. I mean, good to know this car is sturdy. They took a literal crowbar to this thing and nothing happened. That's wild. I think what happened is last night when we were at dinner, we parked on the street. It was really dark outside and it was like a big street. And I'm pretty sure someone while we were eating attempted to do this. And I didn't notice till today because it was pitch black outside. The way I wouldn't have even noticed though if Cal didn't tell me. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get this fixed. Luckily, obviously everyone okay but between Alicia getting robbed in her garage and this happening what is going on with pretty basic I'm gonna hope that tomorrow is gonna be a better day and stay positive but vlogmas is canceled hello guys okay the glam is done I'm sorry I didn't uh, vlog any of the process but Alexis Haley and I were just gabbing the whole time the nerves are setting in but I love the look I feel so chic we did a little updo I've like never really been able to do an updo because of all the extensions and it looks gorgeous Haley crushed it the makeup looks amazing Alexis killed it. I have the dress on. I have decided I will be putting on shaper. Look how handsome my fiance looks. Thank you. You look so cute. We look, look like look we're going amazing. to prom. Thank you, okay. babe. Uh, I am going to put the shaper on because as we all know, I'm on my period. So I'm feeling a little bloated. So it's just going to snatch me up. But this is the dress. I feel so pretty. I'm going to practice my speech one more time. My wonderful assistant, Brooke, came over and she's so sweet. She was like, I'm so proud of you. My whole team, everyone's been so nice. <laughs> I know it's like not that big of a deal, but I'm making it yeah, a big deal. Absolutely a big deal. Oh, thank Did you, Dave. And uh, Brooke printed out my speech and numbered all the cards for me in case I drop my cards. But I'm going to practice on Cal one more time. Lauren will be here in 15 minutes. So I got to go put my shoes and my earrings on too. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a different earring but one sec. Let me practice my four minute speech and then I'll, I'll get back to you. <laughs> this is the shapewear that I'm gonna wear. If you guys have not tried Honey Love, this is the, I don't know what it's called exactly. Here you go. <gasps> Thank you, my love. Put it back on. Ah! Oh my God. I was gonna say put it back on my finger. <laughs> She's okay. Sorry. I took her off for the shower. Okay, I don't know what it, oh, super power thong, you guys. This thing is a game changer. If you can see, there's like an X on the front and that helps like pull the mid section in and I love this thing. It's the most comfortable shapewear I've ever worn in my life. And I just got a new one because we got sponsored on Pretty Basic, which is so cool. Truly, I could talk for days about this, but let me let me do a little before and after. So here's the before. Totally fine. Nothing wrong with it, but to feel a little bit more snatched, here we go. Here is the after. It just kind of smooths everything out, holds you nice and tight. Love this so much. I also wear little shorts on top. I put the brief this thong thing on. And then I put little spandex shorts on top because it helps to alleviate the uh, chafing of the thighs. So there it is. Let's choose our earrings. I was thinking, I'm getting so nervous. I will say the Drew Barrymore show definitely prepared me for today. Like I can do this. I can do this. Oh no, wait, I hope I have the other one. I found one that I really liked. A little jewelry tray. Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm thinking these little baby Bottega 
dupes could be cute. I think that's really pretty. Alicia Murray would be proud of me for my jewelry accessorization. Earrings, okay, I think that adds a really nice glamorous touch. These are from Amazon, I'll link them down below. I'm pretty sure they were like 10 bucks. Let me FaceTime Susie. Are you ready to see my look? Yes. <gasps> Remy. Oh, Remy. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna finish getting ready. Let's get ready together. I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear the perfume that my mom bought me for my birthday. Yes. <laughs> this is, uh, I think it's called Delina Light. Cute. Okay, what bag should I wear, mom? So I'll be with you. Yes, you will be with me. I'm gonna wear, I think, a nude shoe, right? Yep. New chew. Mm -hmm. Hopefully my feet don't hurt, but I'll be too nervous to even care. Okay, I bought this bag forever ago, but I think this could be cute. Yeah. A little silver yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Something smaller? No, you can buy me one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute enough. <laughs> perfect. I think this is perfect. This is like my nice yeah. silver bag. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna head out. Say bye to the vlog. Bye. Do you have a bracelet, Remy? I'm wearing a bracelet, but it's on this arm. Should I put it on the left arm? Yes. Okay. Oh yes. my goodness! Look who's here! <laughs> He's too cute. He's like beautiful, Remy. Thanks, Mom. Look at my mom and Holden. Look at him. Aww. Look at how so cute Cal looks. Yeah, no, so don't look at me. Look at her. No, come here. Holden's sad that he didn't get to go. Oh, I left her. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, baby. Well, this guy, he's like, where's my tux, Auntie? He said, I'm also Asian. Okay, Mom, I'm gonna go. I love you so much. Love you. Bye. Bye, Holdy. Love you, bye. Deep breath. I you will. Do great. I love you. Oh, you know what? I need a big bag because I gotta put my note cards in here anyways. Oh, don't forget. It works out. I know, okay. I love you, bye. Love you. I love her. Okay, in my bag of things that I'm gonna bring for touch-ups. Let's see, I definitely need a powder because I am an oily girly. I'm gonna bring this powder. Gorgeous. My little puff. I'm just gonna throw them in there. Lips. I don't know what Alexis used, but I really like it. Really like that color. Hmm. This looks good. This is rare beauty and worthy. Okay, I think that's all I really need to bring. Can't forget my wallet. Can't forget my cards. And there we go. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna head out and I'll see you guys there. Bye. We are here, guys. This is Angelica. This is Lauren. <laughs> We are sat right smack dab in the center of the speaking situation. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna look at Laura the whole time. But we'll look, I'll look between Laura, Tommy, and Cal. Excited about the menu. Oh, yes. Okay, we got Asian food for the menu. We have Tom Yum soup, chana masala. Ooh, beef bulgogi. Ooh, adobo. I fucking love the Asian. This is amazing. <laughs> and chili oil, vegetable lo mein. You know, it feels uh, oddly like there's more pressure because we know so many of you, but then also. We know you guys, so it's like we mess up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Even before the iPhone, this, this, this is me doing the whole back in my day thing right now. Um, but I bring up this point actually to point out that what we were doing could have easily just faded away. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm passionate. You can just feel the love and generosity exuding around her, and she's constantly working to lift up everyone around her, not just herself. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Miss Remy Crew. Not trip, I mean not fall. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Nikki. That was so beautiful. I got a little emotional. Also, apologies. I think I got the wrong or a different list than Wonfu did because mine is. They just said to talk about my journey, so this is going to be all about me. <laughs> so I apologize. Um, but everyone scrap it, and I did make no cards. Okay. <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm Remy Cruz, and I'm so humbled to be speaking tonight. First, thank you to YouTube for putting on this amazing event, and thank you for all of their work towards and their constant fight for the A. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. A for that community. Uh, I have a podcast, and this is like way more nerve wracking. Um, I also want to shout out the other honorees and share what an honor it is to be recognized in the same group as so many iconic fellow creators. I grew up loving all of your content, and you are all inspirations for my own personal career. So I was born in Orange County, California, and for those who don't know, yay! And both of my parents immigrated to the U.S. when they were only six and nine years old from Seoul, South Korea. Um, my grandma actually fled from North Korea when she was just eight years old during the Korean War, and not a day goes by that I'm not grateful for the sacrifices that they made to give me the life that I have today. Growing up in a Korean household, my parents wove a lot of Korean culture into my life starting at an early age. 
I attended a Korean church. My mom was always making Korean food. And I was even in a Christian, uh, Korean Christian performance group called God's Image. <laughs> As an adult, looking back now, I can see how my parents were, were able to find the perfect blend of honoring our Korean culture and incorporating American traditions into my daily life. Uh, but as a kid, I couldn't recognize the beauty in my culture, and I just wanted to blend in with all the other kids at school. I was embarrassed to bring dishes like kimbap and bulgogi to lunch, and I can't believe it now, but I would have rather eaten the plastic school lunch cheese pizza than just a bit. For a large part of my life, I ignored my heritage, and it wasn't until I started YouTube that I realized just how much I loved being Korean and how interested I was in learning about my culture more. I'm sure a lot of us in the room can relate to when I say that YouTube was the first place we ever saw representation for ourselves. I remember being 12 years old and discovering YouTube on my first generation iPod Touch. And I'll never forget the feeling of overwhelming excitement and seeing a world of opportunity in front of me. With a quick search, I was served countless videos of people who looked like me sharing tips on how to curl your hair, how to do your winged eyeliner, and even how to stretch your shoes using ice. At a time when I was so young and impressionable, seeing so many Asian creators succeeding and gaining popularity was truly a turning point for me in my own journey of appreciating my own heritage. I watched YouTube religiously from ages 12 to 17, never missing uploads from my favorite creators and always longing to start my own channel, but always being way too scared. And then finally, the summer before my senior year of high school, I bit the bullet and started making lifestyle videos. Uh, my channel grew at a very glacial pace though, and anytime anyone in high school would tell me that they saw my videos, I would scream and run away. Uh, after I graduated high school, I moved to my college dorm and pivoted my content to my life as a freshman, living in the dorm and joining a sorority. And I tried my best to juggle being both a full-time student and a content creator, but obviously had a lot more fun making videos, so I would stay in my dorm and make videos and not go to class. And after my freshman year, I had grown my channel to 200,000 subscribers and quickly came to a crossroad where I could potentially see YouTube being a career for me, but I couldn't juggle both any longer. After convincing my parents to let me take a break from school, we eventually landed on the deal that I would take one year to fully try doing YouTube, and if I couldn't financially support myself, I pretend that YouTube never even happened. Uh, the next year taught me so much about myself and my work ethic. I spent every day planning, shooting, editing, posting videos, and that year went by in a flash, and I grew my channel from 200,000 to 800,000 subscribers, which at the time was a lot. So now it's still not anymore. Thank you. Uh, I was fully self-sufficient and decided it was my time to do what all the other YouTubers do and move to LA. <laughs> so it's been 10 years since I went off to college and my journey on YouTube has been the most rewarding experience I could have ever asked for. It obviously hasn't always been easy, but I've been lucky enough to create my dream life and I've gotten to collaborate with my favorite brands, connect with so many of my viewers, start a podcast, be on TV, and I've made so many of my best friends through YouTube. Throughout my years, my channels have seen so many different waves of what interested me at the time, but the one constant was always cooking. During the pandemic, I decided to make my own cooking show called Cooking with Remy. Check it out. And uh, through that, I found a whole new love for my Korean culture through food and sharing my family recipes with others. Sharing these recipes are so important to me because they not only open the world to so many beautiful parts of Korean culture, but they also help me feel closer to my family and my ancestors. I truly can't believe that out of all the incredible Asian creators, I was chosen as an honoree for YouTube's first AAPI gala. I can't stress how honored I am to be up here, and I'm so excited at the thought that each and every one of us brings us closer every day to the representation that we deserve. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I did it! Also, Tommy's here. Hi, Tommy. You're really getting manager of the year in Vlogmas. He comes to everything. I was shaking for like half of it, but oh, she did great. I'm so glad you couldn't hear me shaking because I was. Oh, and then yeah. they came on and made an announcement after, like, "Hey, you don't have to lean into the microphone. <laughs> My back is hurting." Could you, was it just, like loud? It was okay, okay, beautiful. But it wasn't that you were loud. I think they were just worried My about your back. back. Yeah, yeah, my back was hurting. Yeah. Ah, I did it. I'm so happy. It's over, and now I can eat. For Wong Fu Productions, I remember one year we were hanging out for Halloween and you dressed up as a yoga mat that made me really laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it is 9.30 p.m. We just got in. We got huge gift bags, like massive gift bags. I think I will do a little haul in the next vlog because I know this one's already getting long. <laughs> I'm too scared to watch my speech clip back. When I tell you, I was like shaking. 
<sighs> I'm proud of myself for doing it, but when is this shaking gonna stop? I always get so nervous and I don't know. I just care a lot about what people think, but I have to say that was so much fun. The event was absolutely amazing. Thank you to YouTube for putting on such an incredible event for something that matters so much. It was so cool seeing so many creators that I've known for so long that I haven't seen, like since pre-COVID. I haven't seen Wong Fu since probably the last time I was in one of their videos, like years ago. I haven't seen Cassie vlog a lot in a while. We like message here and there, but I haven't seen her in a while. Kathy Nguyen, AJ Raphael, like peep you guys. Like it's so funny because I am the quintessential, like I loved all of those creators growing up. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to me, but like, you know, Ryan Higa, Kev Jumba, Wong Fu, Cassie, Kathy Nguyen, AJ Raphael, like all those people getting to be in a room with them. That's why I was so, so nervous. And then there were so many new creators there that made me feel so old, but also were so sweet and just so like respectful and, and amazing. It was really cool. And uh, everybody was so nice and came up and, and said the sweetest things to me after. And uh, I'm so proud of myself for doing that, but I'm, I'm still like cringing. I don't want to watch that clip back, but I have to edit this vlog. So I have to do that. But tonight was absolutely incredible. And I need to do the small business haul for you guys. And I, I have something here that I wish I had opened up before tonight because it really would have come in clutch, but today's small business is from Cakes Body, which I've been wanting to try cakes for a really, really, really long time. And if you guys don't know what they are, they are nipple cup. Okay, I've been wanting to try these for so long and I actually bought three of them because I know I'm gonna use these all the time moving forward. So I'm constantly getting questions from you guys about what bras that I wear and everything like that. And most of the time, like right now, I'm just wearing boob tape. I love the brand booby tape. It's my favorite tape ever. And I just usually do three strips, like one, two, three, in a big rectangle here. And it holds the ladies up nicely. I mean, you can kind of see the like, imprint underneath, but it holds the ladies up. The only thing is obviously the nipple is very, very sensitive. So if you can wear a nipple cover underneath, it will be a game changer. Or if you don't have boobs that go down to your ankles like me, then you could probably just get away with just a little nipple cover. But apparently these are amazing. So these are nipple covers. Say hello to that no bra feeling. Unfortunately, I cannot wear no bra. I have, again, boobs that go down to my ankles, but these are much larger than I thought they would be, but honestly, I think they'll still work. I'm just gonna tape, put them under my tape, and it really helps because when I rip the tape off at night, a lot of times it hurts. Sometimes I get like scabs or, or bleed sometimes. So these will be super, super helpful. And apparently they are like super sticky. They're reusable. They're like waterproof. I saw on the, uh, the instruction. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Okay, that's, you saw how that stuck onto my arm. Wow, okay, the texture is really nice. It's very high quality. They're like washable. The way it sticks is crazy. Oh my God. Obviously I can't like model them for you, but I've just heard absolutely amazing things. And I got an email from the owner of Cakes, who's a subscriber. And I thought that was so exciting. So I wanted to support. I'll leave them linked down below as always, but it comes in this cute little bag. And if you guys are going to a bunch of like weddings, events, holiday parties, I feel like these would be a really great little thing to have. And yes, so that is the small business all of the day. I now have to go, well, I have a lot of things to do tonight. So I need to take off my makeup, pick out my hair, I need to edit this vlog and then I also need to pack because Alicia and I leave for Miami in the morning and there's still a lot to do. So on that note, I'm going to end the vlog. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next one. I'm about to start Vlogmas Day 8 like right now because I have so much to do and I'm going to keep it in the loop. So don't you worry. I love you guys and I'll see you later.